Welcome to The Polish Table, I'm Agnieszka, and today I'm doing another solo sałatka salad episode. Today we are going to be making a mother-in-law salad and a egg salad with leeks, corn, scallions. Very yummy, great for spring and summer. So come on back and I'll show you how to make it. Welcome to the Polish Table, I'm Agnieszka, and today we are going to be making some sałatki salads. Spring, light, easy peasy salads. Sometimes you don't want to have that heavy dinner, you just want to have something light, a little macaroni salad, and these are fun. So the first one that we're going today to do today is the mother-in-law salad. And mother-in-law salad, I say, because, well, you know, we're going to be using paprika, and there's some green onions, and mother-in-laws tend to be kind of, you know, they're kind of, they're mother-in-laws. They're just mother-in-laws. So we're gonna start with our noodles. You can have, I prefer egg noodles. I think they're nice, they're small, they're, it's enough for a pasta salad. You can use any other ones if you prefer. You could do like rotini or penne, whatever you feel. So you're gonna boil those al dente. So I've got a bowl here like this. And then we are going to get some chopped ham. You can chop it, I've already got it chopped up. Love ham. Put that in, nice diced up, very delicate, not too overpowering, blend that in. These kind of salads are great to have because you could take it to work, sometimes you don't want to have a boring sandwich, it kind of zhuzhes up and makes you feel fancy. Someone comes over, have a nice glass of wine, have a little salad together, it's great. We're going to add some red onions, it's going to go inside here. I'm gonna mix that up. Red onions are always nice. They seem crisper, they're more flavorful, especially with ham. I just, I love it. We're going to take some white cheese. So I've got some white cheese. You can use cheddar, whatever cheese you like, whatever you have at home. I like the, the white cheese. It's a little bit sharper. Gives, it's a nice combo with the ham. It's really tasty. And you know, sometimes you just don't want to have, I mean, ham is ham, right? It's in a slice, you put in a sandwich, but when it's cubed up, it looks, it feels kind of fancy, it feels good. So we're going to take also a couple of, I'm just gonna take one little pickle, I'm gonna add that in, dice it up, really, really small, nice and delicate. Again, you can use any kind of pic dill pickles. Bocce makes a great one. Of course, I prefer the one in the brine. This one right here. It's just yummier and it's not so acidic because the vinegar inside the other dill pickles is really, really strong. I'm gonna add that in there, it's perfect. Now this one, of course, we're gonna put a little bit of parsley. I love fresh parsley. And did you know that parsley helps for bad breath? I know, I'm such a nerd. Herbs are my thing, I love them. I'm chop it up. Now you can double the recipe, you can make a bigger bowl depending on how many people are coming over, but you know, sometimes it's just the two of you or just you yourself, you don't have to make a big one. And add that in there, do a little bit of dill. What are you dill? I love dill. And add that in. Now with these salads, we use a combo of plain vanilla yogurt, a couple tablespoons, it's a little bit lighter, and a little bit of um, mayo. Just gonna add that in. So good, so refreshing. Add a little salt and pepper. Got our pepper. We have our salt. And the reason why it's called mother-in-law, because we're using paprika. I'm gonna put a little bit of that in there. I love it. Makes it so colorful. Yep, don't be shy. Put that paprika in there. So we're gonna take a couple tablespoons of, teaspoons of the yogurt. About one, two, I know yogurt, you're thinking what? It's good. Try it. And a little bit of mayo to give it 
that salty yumminess that I just love Hellman's. There you go. That's about it. Okay, not Miracle Whip, Hellman's. Hellman's is where it's at. I'm gonna mix that together. We're gonna put this in the fridge. We're gonna serve it chilled. It's so pretty, so refreshing. You can have hot dogs on the grill with this. This is pretty versatile. It's just a, you know, a pasta salad. I love it. it smells amazing. I'm gonna add a little bit of some parsley just to garnish a little bit on the top. All right. Easy peasy. And maybe a little dill. Of course we're gonna add dill. Perfect. Look at that. Smells good, looks good. Love it. So then we're going to move on to an egg salad that I love. I know egg salad, people don't, egg salad can be kind of boring. I know it can be, but this isn't. So we've got a combination of some corn, we've got some scallions and we've got leeks, egg whites, and again, yogurt and a little bit of mayo too. So we're gonna put our egg whites in here. Again, you wanna use about maybe six hard boiled eggs and get the egg whites in there. I'm gonna add some corn. And I love corn, but my dad does not like corn. He says, I said, Tata, you wanna have some corn? He goes, I'm not a cow, I don't eat corn. So, mix that up. Now it does have an overpowering kind of smell to it because of leeks. Leeks are pretty, they're pretty pungent, right? Along with the green scallions, but they're so good. They're so good. It's like if an onion and a scallion had a baby, it would be a leek. It would be a leek. They're perfect. They're tasty. They're delicious. And when you do um, use the leeks, you want to make sure that you, because we've got one right here, I'll show you. This is what they look like. This is a leek, right? So inside here, I kind of start with the ends right here. So the closer you get to the bottom, the stronger it is. So that's really, really strong. That can go to the side. Usually take off like the first one, but see, you want to clean that. So there's like gritty dirt inside. You want to make sure that you clean all that up. So I kind of cheat. Nobody needs to know. Cut in between right? And you just kind of peek in there and you look. You just look at it. See, nobody would have known that it's kind of dirty. You just run this under some cold water and then chop, chop, chop. Easy peasy. You want to chop it really fine because it is a big leafy kind of onion. It's very strong. But yeah, so we kind of get the point. Look, it's like this, and then we can chop it really, really nice and fine. Really good. I love leeks. I love leek soup. It's refreshing. Leek potato, amazing. Summer salads can be so fun, not boring. I love the variety of this in-season veggies that are, it's great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a couple tablespoons of this yogurt as well. That's about right. Perfect. And we're going to take a little bit of mayo. We shake it to the bottom so I don't make any silly noises. You don't have to say excuse me. There you go. Look how nice it comes out. And we're just going to mix it up. Who said salads need to be just an iceberg? No. You can get creative and you can make all sorts of salads. They're a great add-on to grilling with hot dogs, Salem's hot dogs on the grill, some posca cubasa, or a steak. It's awesome. And I just love the corn part. I love it. Because it's corn. I mean, it's got no nutritional value, but it makes it colorful, makes it happy. We're going to do some salt and pepper. A little pepper. A little 
salt. And voila, a nice little vino, some fish, a little side salad. And your dinner is done. And it only took you, what, 30 minutes, if that? Sometimes you don't want to have a big honking steak. You just want to have a little salad. And here we go. Mother-in-law sawatka, sawatka teściowej, and then just an egg salad leek, leek egg salad. Delicious. So when we come back, more summer salads. Can't wait to try it and plate it. So come on back, we'll show you. Welcome to the Polish Table, I'm Agnieszka and we are going to be making some more salads today. I'm flying solo, so I hope you enjoy my summer salads that we're gonna be making. The first salad that we're making is made with rice. So I know typically who makes a salad with rice, right? Well, Polish people do. So we're gonna start out with our rice and you can use any kind you wanna boil it. Um, Till it's, till it's done. I'm gonna use about a cup here, but you can use two, three, depending on how many people are, um, you're gonna be feeding. So once we've got the rice in here, put it to the side. And this is a daughter-in-law salad. So the previous episode I did a mother-in-law salad. This one is a daughter-in-law salad. So what do we think of when we think of daughter-in-laws? We think they're kind of crabby, right? So we've got some crab meat in here. And this I bought in the package, it's the little like the finger crab, the imitation crab meat, and we sliced it and diced it. Nice and chopped up nice. Gonna mix that in with the rice. Perfect. We're going to add some red onion. Probably not the whole thing. Perfect. Add that in there. And you can use a white onion or whatever you have. It doesn't have to be the red one. The red one is nice and strong. Love the red onion. Sometimes when you bite it and it gets up into your nose and then makes your eyes water, it kind of wakes you up a little bit. Yeah, that's a red onion. Okay. Yeah, like it's very popular to have rice, cold rice salads in Poland. There's several that you can do. Some of them have tuna. They're all different kinds. But we chose the crab. Mix that in. I like to chop it up nice and fine. Let's put all of it in there. All right. We've got a little bit of cheese, some white cheddar. You can use sharp cheddar, whatever you like. This kind of makes it more flavorful. It gives it kind of like a creamy taste when you bite in. Who doesn't love cheese? I love cheese. Love cheese. All right. I had my first salad with rice in it when I was in Poland. My aunt put it on, you know, put it on a plate. She goes, oh, try this, this is so good. And she's like, this is so delicious. So I'm like, really, salad with rice? How weird is that? And I had it and it was with tuna, it was delicious. And it, you know, it's, it's a game changer. It definitely opens up your eyes to, you can make something different that's a little bit more refreshing. And again, not with iceberg lettuce or a Caesar or, you know. A boring salad. Who wants a boring salad? We're going to add some dill pickle, of course, in here because that's where it's at. You can use any kind of pickles that you'd like. I'm using the bachik dill pickle in the brine because it's not so vinegary. The onion inside the salad is enough. It doesn't, it doesn't need any help with more vinegar. Gives it a nice little salty taste to it. And we serve this cold. So you're gonna put this in the fridge for about an hour, serve it chilled, it's really good. We're going to add some Hellman's mayonnaise because I love Hellman's, not the other stuff. We do not want the other stuff. Let me shake this up a little bit. All right, just a little bit, a little drizzle. And then we're going to add some low fat plain yogurt. That in about two to three tablespoons, teaspoons, teaspoons. Let's not get crazy. We're gonna mix this up. So good, so good. 
Again, friends come over, you, don't ha you weren't expecting it, you're doing something spontaneous, you have no idea, just grab what you got. Here's corn, a little bit of crab meat, and you can say, hey, we're gonna have some daughter-in-law salad. It's kind of funny, it's a conversation. It's, it's a little, you know, laughable joke. Daughter-in-laws are a pain, pain in the high knee, right? Crabby. We can be crabby. We sure can be crabby. All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of salt and pepper, as always. Makes it so pretty. And we're going to add a little bit of salt, and I'm gonna add a splash of some lemon juice. Lemon juice is really, really good. It's gonna lighten it up a little bit. Just a little splash, just like that. And then we are going to drizzle it I used to be a hairdresser, so I always have some scissors. And it's kind of fun when you take the dill, you just snip it right off. I love dill. As you know, I love dill. And I kind of chop it. Like, you know, it's kind of therapeutic. You just cut hair, but you're cutting dill. It's pretty. Yeah. Just don't cut your fingers off. Ah, you've got 10. One can go, right? Okay, I'm gonna mix that in. So pretty. Love it. Love the way it smells. It's so refreshing, so light. You don't come home from work and you don't feel like having a big old meal. A little glass on the balcony, it's a little wine, a little bit of salad, watch the sunset, easy peasy, it's healthy. Put your little dill pickles, garnish it like that. Cognets, you're done. People will come over and they'll say, oh my gosh, how did you do that? Simple, easy. And then next, of course, I love tomatoes. I love a juicy, juicy, juicy tomato. Look at these suckers. They're huge. They are huge, right? So we are going to use, we're gonna do two. These are the beefsteak tomatoes. They're nice and big. Okay, I'm gonna cut them just like that. I don't like the little booty, the butt of the tomato, so that's going to go bye-bye. We're going to cut them about, I don't know, like a quarter inch thick. So pretty. Just like that. This is how you would cut it. They're so juicy. Sometimes you don't want to have a salad, you just want a tomato. And this is kind of a Polish version of like a tomato caprese, if you will, in Italian. It's refreshing, the tomato's nice and cold, a little salt and pepper. It's okay if we can't cut through here, we'll just use that. Perfect, just like that. I love a tomato. Just like that. Now, if you don't have a beefsteak tomato and you have like the little Roma ones or the little vine ones, that's fine too. It doesn't have to be this tomato, but I do like this tomato, it's nice and big. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, so I've already got this here. I'm gonna add a little bit more because we're gonna make it pretty and full. Okay, right there. I'm just gonna add some on. And this is something that you could serve like with cold cuts as a side dish. You know, you have your little breads or your hams or you're having like a little charcuterie or something like that. Perfect, tomatoes are the way to go. And what's really beautiful about this is you're going to place it on a, I like to place it on like a long serving plate like this. And then you're going to take some sour cream and we are going to mix that up just like that. Okay, we're going to do a little salt and pepper. We're going to put some dill in there. Voila. Looks good. Bardzo dobre. Pomidorki. Tomatoes are so nice. They're so good. Mix that in. Of course, we're going to do a little bit of dill in there because I just love the dill. Because dill is where it's at. It's a big dill. Going to add that in there. It's so pretty and it's so refreshing. Yeah, like sometimes you don't want to have a big old meal. You just want to have tomato. I remember eating 
just a tomato sandwich on some bread with mayonnaise and that is that's golden that's good so we're going to put that here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take some radishes again root veggies we love root veggies we're going to slice them up just like that nice and skinny nice and thin and i love radishes i'll buy a bag and i will literally sit down while i'm cooking in between meals and I will eat them with salt and pepper. That's how good they are. All right, so we are going to garnish this with a little bit of sour cream right on top. It's okay, perfecto. Every little tomato, well, every big tomato gets, a, gets some sour cream, which is so good. And then we're going to take and place this right here like that. How pretty, summer salad. And then you just garnish with some scallions. And look, no boring salad, no boring iceberg. Beautiful, salt and pepper. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna give this a try. We're gonna see how it turned out. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Polish table. I'm Agnieszka and we are going to try our sałatki that we made today. We made a daughter-in-law, synowa, a mother-in-law, teściowa, a beautiful tomato salad, and then we made a great egg salad too with leeks. So I'm going to dig in into the mother-in-law, the mother-in-law salad, okay? Here we go. Delicious, it's good. Thank you guys for coming. You can check out my Facebook page the Polish table with Agnieszka and friends for the recipes. Thank you for watching.